Uh, shall we start now, sir? Yes, madam. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, present here virtually. I am Pallavi here, uh, and I welcome you all for today's session, which is titled as uh, Machine Learning for Movie and Product Recommendation System. Uh, and presenting this session, we have with us our today's expert, uh, Dr. J. Soma Sekar, sir. Dr. J. Soma Sekar is doctorate in comp computer science and engineering from Jawaharlal Nehru Technological University, Anantapur, Andhra Pradesh. He is working as a professor and head of CSP department of Gopalan Engineering College, Bangalore, affiliate uh, to UBTU, Karnataka. He is having an having an experience of 16 years in teaching. He has delivered 145 technical talks in 12 states of the country. Uh, he's got uh, all India gate rank 43. His area of expertise in a machine learning, digital image processing, data science, ML for cyber security. He has published 22 papers in national and international SCIS papers. Index journals. He has also presented 12 papers in national and international conferences. Uh, without wasting much time, I welcome to uh, Dr. J. Soma Sekar, sir. Uh, you may start now, sir. Yeah, thank you, ma'am. Yeah, thank you, ma'am, for the introduction and uh, good morning to all the participants. So welcome to the webinar on machine learning for movie and product recommendation system. And thanks to organizers for giving this opportunity. So before going to the recommendation system, as you can see here, just a second, yeah. So as you can see here, streaming services like YouTube, Netflix, and uh, uh, Amazon Prime Video, and etc. As well as you can see e-commerce website like eBay and uh, uh, Flipkart, etc. Even social media like uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, etc. So whenever if you open some of the streaming services, let us assume YouTube, you will get recommendation of the videos. Or whenever if you go for e-commerce websites, you'll get recommendation of the products. So even whenever if you open social media websites like LinkedIn, Facebook, etc., you will get recommendation of the friends request, etc. So now the question is exactly what is happening beyond this and how mission learning plays a vital role for this. So that means every day we are being influenced with this recommendation system, but we don't know what is recommendation system and what is exactly happening beyond this and how mission learning comes to the picture. So all those things we are going to discuss in today's session. It's a very interesting session. After the session, when if you are getting recommendation of YouTube videos or maybe some uh, movies in the streaming services like Prime Video or what platforms and uh, maybe even e-commerce website surely will remember this guy this is the way we are getting recommendation and uh, mission learning plays a vital role for this recommendation system so i will explain in detail what is recommendation system and what are the types of recommendation system and uh, how the mission learning plays a vital role for this recommendation of the products or movies to the customers with the case studies or use cases so that you can understand also. Maybe I will show some of the resources if you are looking for further enhancement or if you are looking for explore more about recommendation system, I will show some of the resources at the end of the session. So based on that, you can go ahead with that resources after the session so that you can understand better about recommendation system. So first we will see what is recommendation system and what are the types, a uh, little bit theoretical aspects. After that, we'll move to the mathematical aspects and case studies. Based on that, you can understand how the recommendation system uh, will work and how the, we are getting recommendation of the movies or products. So basically, let us assume uh, this is the data set. Let us assume I'm assuming we have movies here. So movies means action movie we have. Let us assume comedy movies we have, horror movies we have, devotional movies, uh, romantic movies, like that various type, kind of movies or various genres. So or we can call it as various categories of movies. And uh, my interest is let us assume action movie oriented movie. So what basically the recommendation system will do, it will filter the movies which i'm showing interest i'm showing interest for action movies it will filter and it will send to the 
uh, customers or users so these things not required this, so these are the movies which i'm not showing interest only it will send movies which i'm showing interest maybe action oriented movies these are all filtered which i'm not showing interest and only these are the movies will recommend to the customer based on the interest so basically it is information filtering system so we know what is the meaning of filter so whenever if i take uh, tea coffee etc also we have to do filtering so some of the things which we are not required will throw outside and whichever required that we will drink like that here also so basically it is an information filtering system and it will recommend the uh, movies or products where the user or maybe customer showing interest that will recommend to the user or customer but how it possible what is exactly happening here because this based on this diagram we can understand it's very simple thing but exactly how uh, machine learning comes to the picture here then how machine learning will help to filter like this type of things which i'm not showing interest and how it will recommend the movies or products to the customers based on the interest and first of all why we require this one because now we are in big data era because we have used data obviously it is very difficult to use it to study the whole data and select the required uh, because of big data uh, that's why recommendation system comes to the picture if you have a recommendation system so it will take within seconds and you will get recommendation based on that you can watch the movies or you can buy the product so whenever you are getting recommendation there is no guarantee always you have to watch or buy the product but most of the time as per the statistics so the owners of e-commerce websites streaming services they are getting huge benefit because of this recommendation system so final conclusion it is basically a filtering system or we can call it as information filtering system and it will recommend movies or products based on the user or customer interest so as you can see here now we have huge number of applications of recommendation system one is streaming services like netflix because after covid now we are most of the movies we are watching in ott platform only so like netflix amazon prime disney hotstar etc so there the recommendation system plays a vital role even e-commerce website like amazon ebay flipkart etc because whenever if you are looking for some product we are giving order through e-commerce websites only based on that uh, next time you will get recommendation of the related product that we will discuss in detail when you go for further uh, subsequent slides and uh, even healthcare medical industry also in healthcare also you will get recommendation of the uh, specialist or professionals or maybe recommendation of the medicines or drugs etc so drugs means here uh, medicines or tablets so like that we are getting recommendation system even in healthcare and medical or maybe pharmaceutical industry also even finance and agriculture sector in finance also let us assume banking sector whenever new policies are introduced the customers or users will get recommendation of the policies whether you are going to opt or not that is left to the customer but you will get recommendation so based on your interest you can opt or you can neglect that is left to you even agriculture sector also uh, so recommendation system plays a vital role even social media linkedin facebook etc they are also a recommendation system plays a vital role even for e government library tourism ex hotels what type of hotels uh, uh, customers are looking such type of hotels recommendation whenever if you are looking for any uh, 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 what we can call it as a trip in some of the places so like that we have even education sector also recommendation of the colleges or maybe courses etc like that we have huge number of applications of this recommendation system because of that reason only there is a huge research is going on on this recommendation system and when you come to the value of recommendation so 75% of the users selecting movies based on the netflix recommendation in netflix 75% of the users are selecting based on the recommendation whenever if you open netflix you will get recommendation of the movies let us assume any latest movies released in the ott platform you will get recommendation so that means out of 100 movies 75 percent movies are watching by users based on the recommendation only that means you can see that users are also happy because of this recommendation of the movies without searching we are able to see the movies at the same time netflix owners also getting huge revenue because of this recommendation even as you can see amazon also 35 percent of the revenue generated because of this recommendation system if you see here 35 percent means it's not small amount it leads to billion dollars obviously they are getting huge benefit because of this recommendation so amazon we have e-commerce website as well as we have amazon from streaming services also so they are getting huge benefit because of this recommendation system
even if you take youtube also 60% of the clicks on the home screen of the youtube based on the recommendations when if you open youtube you'll get some recommendation of the videos or maybe comedy videos etc so maybe 60% of the people are watching these type of recommendation recommended videos obviously youtube also will get more money because of number of our streaming is more at the same time as a customer we are also happy without searching anything we are able to see some of the videos which are we are interested and Google Play also. So 40% of the apps installs comes from recommendation. Suppose if we have installed any app, so related apps also will get recommendation, then 40% of the uh, apps are installing based on the recommendation. Obviously, they will also get huge money and we are also happy without searching. Sometimes if you don't know app also, because of recommendation, we can find. Uh, and after that, we can install for our requirement or maybe for our application purpose. So this indicates that the significance of recommendation system for day-to-day you know, -day life. And obviously, we are being influenced with this recommendation. We are also happy as a customer. And the owners of this e-commerce and uh, streaming services also, they are getting huge revenue because of this recommendation. So that's why you nowadays it's a huge demand for this recommendation uh, research also. Still, research is going on. And uh, even IITs and IITs also, so many research scholars are focusing on this recommendation by using various machine learning techniques or deep learning techniques for improving the accuracy. After that, they can make a product and they can uh, sell to the any e-commerce or maybe streaming services uh, owners. So what about types of recommendations? So after these types of recommendation, we'll go for a case study so that you can exactly understand how we are getting recommendation uh, by using machine learning models. So we have various types of recommendations. One is popularity based recommendation and one is content based recommendation and one is collaborative filtering or collaborative recommendation. So our session, we are going to focus on this uh, collaborative filtering process. And just I'll explain what is popularity based or popular based or content based. After that, uh, we will move to the collaborative filtering process, uh, use cases or case studies. When you come to the popularity based, it is based on the more trending. So whenever suppose uh, some uh, trailer or maybe some uh, movie release latest us yesterday in YouTube or maybe OTT platform. So that is a very famous movie or maybe famous title and more, most of the people are waiting for that so in such case it is a more trending video obviously based on more trending automatically you get recommendation so in popular based recommendation system based on the trending whenever any video or any product is more trending obviously uh, when compared to the other uh, products or maybe movies then automatically you get recommendation so for example any new iphone released in the market maybe in a, uh, then in e-commerce website when you open you immediately get recommendation of that new iphone because that is more trending uh, product so such type of recommendation is called popular based or popularity based recommendation system. But what about content based recommendation? What is collaborative filtering or uh, recommendation? These two I'll explain through graphical representation for better understanding of these two types of recommendation system. But popular based is very simple. It's based on the trending video or trending product. So what is collaborative filtering? Because in our session, we are going to focus more on collaborative filtering process for use cases or case studies by taking data set and how to apply machine learning model based on that, how to recommend the products to the customers or users. So that's why first we should know the uh, domain knowledge. When if you go for machine learning or deep learning, first we should know domain knowledge. That means first we should know what is recommendation system or maybe what are the types of recommendation system. After that, uh, we have to go for apply model to the data set. So we have to apply model to the data set and after that we have to go for evaluation finally we can go for deployment so once if a deployment is done then that is the last stage and we can stop the uh, data processing or maybe machine learning processing suppose if we have any issues in the deployment again we have to uh, redo the process based on that finally we can make satisfaction of the i mean uh, what we can call it as a client once client is happy then we can uh, complete that project that is the actual machine learning process or data science process now here uh, we should know the domain knowledge that is called what is uh, types of recommendations after that we will see the use cases or case studies based on that we can understand better about this recommendation system now what is collaborative filtering so let us assume we have two users i am assuming a b these are the two users so both watched the movies crack and kzf so try to understand when i if i take i'm taking two users collaborative means we are looking for a set of people in which we are looking for similarity so we have A and B users, both watched the movies, Crack and KZF, which indicates that both are similar users. So similarity, 
so both watched uh, crack and kgf both are action oriented movie which indicates that both are similar users suppose if a watched the movie bahubali let us assume a watched the movie bahubali how the recommendation system what it will do it will recommend to the user b so this is called collaborative filtering process so when i if i take a and b both watched the movies crack and kgf which indicates that both are similar users and whenever a watched the movie bahubali then automatically it will recommend to b because both are similar because of that reason whatever movie watched by a then it will recommend to b suppose if b watched the movie let us assume some movie in the ott platform or maybe some streaming services let us assume kantara that is the latest sensational movie whenever b watched the movie kantara then automatically the recommendation system will recommend this movie to a that means this kantara movie will recommend to a so this is called collaborative filtering process suppose again a watched some other movie let us assume some movie released in the ott platform then that movie will recommend to b this is called a collaborative filtering process so basically we are looking for similarity between users based on that whatever movie watched by a or b it will recommend to other user if a watch some movie it will recommend to b and vice versa if b watch some movie it will recommend to a this is called collaborative filtering process here basically we are looking for similarity between users whenever both are similar then based on that it will start recommendation of the movies are for similarly for products also this is the example i uh, specifically uh, mentioning the movies movie recommendation so same thing we can apply for product recommendation or any other type of recommendations of the applications maybe even healthcare applications also that also i will show when you are coming to the subsequent slides you can understand i hope it is clear what is collaborative filtering process now i will move to the content based so let us assume in content based basically the basic idea beyond this is based on the past activity or based on the profile so let us assume user a uh, user a watched the movies uh, movie one movie two let us assume these two are comedy category so in uh, ott platforms we can find comedy genre so we can call it as comedy category or comedy movies so let us assume today uh, these three movies are released movie four movie three movie five and these are action comedy drama movies so once again when i take this user let us assume a watched the movies movie one movie two so far both are comedy movies and which indicates that he likes more comedy movies that's why he watched comedy movies so today three more movies released in the ott platform that is movie three action oriented and movie four comedy movie and movie five is drama now how the recommendation system will do or recommendation because of based on the past activity past activity means uh, the user used to watch only comedy movie and today one comedy movie some other two other category movies release then automatically the recommendation system will recommend movie for to user why that is a comedy movie and based on the past activity or based on the profile of the user so he used to watch only comedy movies that's why the automatically movie for will recommend to the user so this is called content based filtering so in content based filtering basically we are looking for past activity or profile of the user based on that it will recommend movies to the customer so i hope you understood what is the difference between collaborative filtering and content based filtering so in both cases collaborative we are looking for similarity between users here in content based we are looking for past activity or user profile so same thing for example even if you take e-commerce website so i used to let us assume uh, amazon or maybe flipkart i used to uh, buy programming languages textbooks let us assume c program c++ uh, java etc so these are the textbooks i so far i gave order and today let us assume python programming textbook is released this is related to the programming category obviously the textbook will recommend to me so why means based on the past activity i used to buy only programming languages which indicates that i am showing interest for programming that's why whenever any new programming like textbook released in the uh, ecom websites i mean uh, market then automatically the textbook will recommend to the suppose maybe let us assume uh, our programming textbook release it then automatically it will recommend to me so this is the way the recommendation system will work for content based filtering and collaborative filtering there we are looking for similarity even if we take here also she used to uh, buy only beauty products 
always whenever she used to shop uh, always she is looking for beauty products whenever new products are released in the market then automatically it will recommend to her so similar product so because she used to shop only beauty products that's why whenever new beauty products are available then it will recommend to the customer so this is the this is we can call it as a content based filtering so hope understood the definition of recommendation system it is basically filtering system information filtering system and based on the interest it will recommend to the user or customer and what are the types of recommendation system and what is the difference between collaborative filtering process and content based filtering process now we will go for case study and i already mentioned we are looking for collaborative filtering process there we are looking for similarity between users so here in data set we are taking a rating so based on the rating we can find the similarity suppose uh, i given five star rating let us assume for one movie maybe let us assume this is a five star rating i given and one more customer let us assume the movie is kantara and one more user also gave five star rating and one more user given three star rating so which indicates that these two users are similar their taste is similar both like the devotional kind of movies maybe he does not like the movie so that's why these two are similar whenever this user watches some other movie let us assume something then automatically it will recommend to this one so this is a basic idea beyond this collaborative filtering process so here rating scale i am taking 1 to 5 minimum rating is 1 whenever if you travel in uber or ola we used to give rating at end of the trip maybe whenever if you watch movies or maybe something if we buy it through online order after that we have to give rating so maybe depends on the i mean website or maybe depends on the Uh, application maybe product recommendation or movie recommendation whatever it may be the rating scale is 1 to 5 or 1 to 10 but uh, most of the applications uh, we can observe that the rating scale is 1 to 5 minimum is 1 maximum is 5 even if we take a uh, faculty feedback also we used to take for 1 to 5 rating what is the minimum maximum is 5 so the rating scale i am assuming 1 to 5 here so this is the main assumption the rating scale is 1 to 5 minimum is 1 5 is excellent 4 is very good 3 is above average 2 is average maybe 1 is worst rating like that we can assume maybe if you want to assume 1 to 10 not age to while making a program so you can assume the rating scale is 1 to 10 but whatever data set i have considered uh, from the public repository is the rating scale is assumed to be 1 to 5 So this is the uh, website. There I have downloaded the data set that is called Group Lens ORG Movie Data Set. I have downloaded from this one. So uh, when you go through this website, Group Lens dot ORG, you somewhere you can click this one. Uh, you can download that data set that is called Movie Lens. Here mainly focusing on uh, user ID, movie ID, and rating given by the customer. Maybe timestamp. These are the fields. I will show that screenshot of first page. so this is a screenshot of first page of the data set you can observe that user id rating movie id timestamp so this timestamp is not required meaning is when the rating given by the customer now at what time the rating given by the customer to the movie that is the meaning but it's not required when you are looking for i mean implementation or maybe applying model to the uh, given data set for the rating prediction followed by recommendation so we are considering main three attributes or fields one is user id or username depends on and uh, customer id that we can call it as and next one is movie id or movie name and rating given by the user to the movie so you can see here minimum rating is 1 maximum is 5 maximum rating is 5 so minimum is 1 maximum rating that is the rating scale i am going to assume for this uh, uh, case study so minimum is 1 maximum is 5 so here in pre processing we have to make a utility matrix because uh, data structures here we have to apply so because direct like on top by machine learning model to the data set whatever data set we got that's why for our convenience even if we are looking for implementation also we have to build utility matrix after that we can apply uh, the machine learning model or maybe any uh, measure for identification of the rating prediction followed by recommendation so here in user item matrix or we can call it as a utility matrix so let us assume user id or user 1 and item 1 and the rating given by user 1 to item 1 is 5 so that means here you can see 
columns are nothing but use items or movies or products depends on the application so i am let us assume product recommendation so item one item two suppose if you are assuming movie recommendation then columns are movie one movie two movie three like that and the rows are users so customers so we have five customers or five users and the elements of the matrix are nothing but the rating given by the users to items so here you can see so user 1 to item 1 rating is 5 that is the first row of the data set so user 1 item 1 rating is 5 in similarly user 2 to other item rest of the ratings are not available user 1 to item 2 item 3 item 4 ratings are not available leave it no problem that we will see later what we are going to do for that and user 2 to item 1 user 2 to item 2 user 2 to item 3 item 4 all the ratings are available just you can copy make it as a copy paste here so that user 2 to item 1 rating is 4 uh, and similarly for other ratings are available user 2 to item 2 4 user 2 to item 3 2 user 2 to item 4 2 so this rating all the ratings are available for user 2 to other four uh, items similarly user 3 ratings are available from this table only 3 item 4 ratings only given by the user and user 4 to item 1 item 2 item 3 ratings are available and finally uh, user 5 to item 1 item 2 item 3 item 4 all the ratings are available this is called a uh, user item matrix or we can call it as a utility matrix so as you can see here the rating scale also we are assuming 1 to 5 sometimes if you have like this stars one star two star then we can translate to numeric value because we can't apply like this to the model that's why instead of single star make it as one so here one here if three stars make it as three like that if you have five star make it as five like that now the question is uh, what is the objective of this recommendation system as you can see in the previous user item matrix some of the entries are missing some of the ratings are missing for example user 1 to item 2 rating is not available let us assume so our objective is to find this rating so this rating is not available our objective is to find this rating that is called rating prediction once if we done rating prediction then the recommendation system will decide whether item 2 is going to recommend to user 1 or not, not. so that is the basic idea behind this uh, collaborative filtering process basically we have to look for rating prediction followed by recommendation based on the rating so here i am assuming uh, rating scale is 1 to 5 that we have already discussed rating scale is 1 to 5 minimum is 1 maximum is 5 and uh, uh, what type of rating the system will recommend i am assuming thresholding value is 4 so thresholding is 4 that means whenever rating is uh, greater than or equal to 4 then the product or movie will recommend to the customer whenever the rating is less than 4 let us assume 3 2 1 then it won't recommend so this is my assumption maybe if you want to make a threshold is 3 fine according to your application but uh, i am assuming uh, may, the developer will decide what type of threshold value we have to assume maybe mi minimum let us assume 3 or 4 like that maybe to depends on so here i am assuming threshold value is 4 that means whenever rating is 4 or more than 4 then the product or movies are going to recommend otherwise not going to recommend suppose if the threshold sorry if the rating is 3 2 1 etc then the movies or products are not going to recommend to the customer so that is the meaning of threshold value here and that we have to fix so maybe you can fix according to your application or maybe requirement so that is the two steps here what we have to do first we have to find rating prediction followed by recommendation based on the rating prediction if the rating prediction is let us assume 4 so item 2 is going to recommend to user 1 if the rating prediction is let us assume 1 uh, then item 2 is not going to recommend to user 2 if the rating prediction is let us assume 5 then item n is going to recommend to user 1 like that so if the rating is 2 then item n is not going to recommend to corresponding user so that is the basic idea that is the object to beyond this recommendation system but the question is how to do rating prediction so for that we have to go for machine learning uh, models or maybe some measures so based on that we can find rating prediction followed by recommendation so we have various uh, measures various machine learning models for uh, 
finding the rating prediction. So here we are looking for collaborative filtering process. There we are looking for similarity between users. So that's why we can go for very simple uh, model or maybe simple measure that is called Pearson correlation coefficient that we can call it as a PCC for recommender system or recommendation system. So this is the base paper for this uh, recommendation of the improved collaborative filtering recommendation through similarity prediction. When you are looking for similarity prediction, understood that it is a collaborative filtering process. There I am going to apply a PCC method that is called Pearson correlation coefficient measure. By using that, we can look for similarity. So this is the base one. So here, here you can see this is the similarity between two users. I'll explain in detail. Don't worry about this one. So by using correlation coefficient, that is called similarity between two users. U comma V. U is one user. V is one user. Or A comma B. A is one user. B is one user. According to our convenience, you can assume. Sim means similarity between U comma B. We have to apply a correlation coefficient formula. By using that, we have to find the rating prediction. So this is uh, the Pearson correlation coefficient basic formula is R equal to this we studied in lower classes R equal to covariance of X Y divided by standard deviation of X standard deviation of Y. This is the basic formula for finding correlation coefficient that is called correlation between two variables if you want to evaluate uh, what is the meaning of correlation so relation between two variables suppose if you have x and y let us assume x, if there is a fu functional relationship between these two variables we can call it as both are correlated otherwise uncorrelated for example so if demand price if demand increases price also increases if demand decreases price also decreases we can call it as both are correlated x and y are correlated Suppose if we take, let us assume, uh, rainfall increases, uh, number of admissions in engineering colleges increases. Is it possible? No. There is no relation. If rainfall decreases, number of admissions in engineering colleges in India will decrease. No. So there is no correlation. This we can call it as an uncorrelation. So whenever there is a relation between two variables, we can say both variables are correlated. Otherwise, we can call it as an uncorrelated. Now the question is, mathematically, how to evaluate or how to measure for this correlation? For that, we have to apply correlation coefficient. So correlation coefficient comes to the picture when you are looking for or when you are looking for measure the correlation between two variables, then we have to apply. So now why we are looking for relation between two variables, similarity, then the correlation coefficient which we are going to use for recommendation. So this is a simple concept of correlation and correlation coefficient and the formula is this one. So this is called covariance of x, y because we have two variables x and y x bar means mean of the variable x and y bar means mean of the variable you know what is the meaning of mean x bar is mean or average or expectation sum of observations by number of observations so this is a simple formula for calculating mean of a random variable x in similarly if you are looking for mean for random variable y then summation y by f so that is a simple way to calculate the uh, correlation coefficient between two variables x and y and always lies between minus 1 to plus 1. Minus 1 means uh, negative correlation, perfect negative correlation. So 0 means uncorrelation. Suppose R value is 0 or maybe uh, negative, we can call it as uncorrelation. There is no uncorrelation. When if we take R equal to plus 1, then there is a perfect correlation between these two variables. So that is that we can, uh, if you are looking for that complete concept, we can go through types of correlation. So positive correlation, negative correlation, perfect positive correlation, perfect negative correlation, and uncorrelation like that we have various concepts. So post perfect positive correlation means R value is 1. So whenever if we take R value, so perfect positive correlation 1. So whenever positive correlation means R value is positive. Whenever negative correlation means R value is negative. Whenever perfect negative correlation means R value is minus 1. Whenever R value is 0, then it is called uncorrelation. So un correlation so these are the various types of correlation but obviously the correlation coefficient lies between minus 1 to plus 1 so now i am going to apply same formula to the data set where i am looking for similarity between users because when you come to the collaborative filtering process there we are looking for similarity between users based on that we are going to uh, find rating prediction followed by recommendation. So first we should know how to find the similarity between users for that we have chosen correlation coefficient. So here uh, 
sim similarity a is one user b is one user what is it mean let us assume a b this is the product p so for better understanding i am giving so p is the product and this is called r a comma p what is the meaning r a p rating of the user a given to the product p let us have four or five next r b p so what is it meaning rating of the user b given to the product p so that is called r a p r b b same thing whatever correlation coefficient formula i have given that i tra translated to our convenience for the data set r a p whatever rating given by the customer a to product r a bar so that means average value so for customer a average value or mean value of the ratings so and r b p means rating of user b for the item p this p is the item or movie whatever it may be p item or maybe movie it depends on the application we can consider that and r b for means so mean of the customer b so average rating of the user b or mean of the customer b so these values are obviously available in the data set just we have to put all the values in the formula based on that we can find the similarity between users after that later we can decide what is the rating prediction followed by recommendation of the movies or items to the customers so hope the formula is very clear and whatever formula we discuss the correlation coefficient just we are translating to our data set that is called similarity between two users a comma b so this is not required yeah so let us assume one simple uh, example case study example so we have four users one is daivik uh, gopi sachin vishnu so these are the four users and we have uh, five items item 1 item 2 some items whatever it may be here shoes watch shirt pant etc we have and uh, ratings given by all the items are available except item 5 the rating is missing here daivik to item 5 rating is not available that means so daivik did not buy the item that's why he did not give any rating that's why we are looking for rating prediction followed by item 5 is going to recommend to daivik or not other ratings are available there is no issue and only one rating is missing our objective is to find the rating prediction followed by recommendation of item 5 to daivik yes sir no that is the conclusion so how to find the rating prediction here we have to look for similarity first we have to look for similarity between daivik and gopi after that we have to look for similarity between daivik and sachin after that we have to look for similarity between vishnu and out of which we have to look for uh, highest similarity and that rating whatever given by the user we can consider for daivik to item 5 so here only daivik is fixed that means daivik to ui so d to ui i value varies from 1 to 3 One means Gopi, two means Sachin, three means Vishnu, like that. So we have to look for similarity between Daivik to other three users, and uh, how to calculate by using correlation coefficient. What we have? Discussed just now. After that, we will see recommendation. So this formula I have already given similarity between A comma B. Now first we have to look for similarity between Daivik and Gopi. so here what is the formula rap rap means rating of the user a given to p product p so 5 you can see here daivik to item 1 5 and daivik to item 2 3 and daivik to item 3 4 and daivik to item 4 4 so only this question mark we are going to find that's why no need to consider that for calculating and uh, uh, next one so 3 rating given by gopi to item 1 that's why 3 here and 1 uh, second row Two, three, and this is the average of first row uh, rating of the Daivik average value, and this is average value of the second row. That is called Gopi rating average value. In the formula, also I explained what is the meaning of RAP divided by this is standard deviation of the uh, one user that is called Daivik, and this is standard deviation of Gopi. After simplification, the correlation coefficient between uh, Daivik and Gopi, or we can call it as a similarity measure, is 0.85. that means 85% similarity is there between daivik and gopi in similarly we have to look for daivik to sachin so after calculation directly I given the value 0.7 so 70% similarity is there between daivik and sachin and finally daivik and other last user that is called vishnu similarity is 0.07 minus negative means no need to consider zero that means both are uh, uncorrelated that means uh, daivik used to watch romantic movies vishnu used to watch uh, thriller movies like that so that both are uncorrelated there is no relation here that is the meaning here so 
so finally we have done the similarity between all the users measure so now we can check it which user having more similar to Dyvik followed by recommendation we can see here so we have already done the calculations of Dyvik to the both the similarity measure 0 0.85 85% and the Dyvik to Sachin we have calculated 70% similarity and last one Dyvik to Vishnu 0% negative means 0% out of all the uh, correlation coefficient value that is called similarity uh, measures so 85 is the highest that means Divik and gopi having highest similarity so both are similar users maybe both like uh, the action movies or romantic movies whatever it may be depends on the application now what we have to do rating prediction whatever rating given by gopi to item 5 here you can see gopi to item 5 rating is 3 so same thing we can consider for Divik to Divic to item 5. So that means here you can copy paste rate. So why we are copy paste that one? Because Divic and Gopi are more similar users. Because of that reason, whatever rating given by Gopi to item 5, same rating we are going to consider for Divic to item 5. So finally, rating prediction done. So this is the way we can find the rating prediction by using similarity measure that is called Pearson correlation coefficient. Of course, we have cosine similarity also that is also very simple and interesting. By using that, we can evaluate the similarity between users. Based on that, we can go for further step recommendation. Now, finally, what's the conclusion? So because finally we have done rating prediction is three, but as I mentioned previously, minimum rating should be four, threshold value is four. Whenever rating value is more than four or equal to four, then only we are going to recommend products or movies to the customer, otherwise not going to recommend. But our rating prediction is three, 100% this item is not going to recommend to Divic. So therefore, final conclusion is, so item four is, no, item five is not going to recommend to Divic because of very low rating. If the rating is 4 or above, then we can recommend the item 5 to Divic. But as per the rating prediction, by calculating the similarity measures, we have concluded that so item 5 is not going to recommend to Divic. So this is the way we can find the similarity between users based on the recommendation of the movies or products to the customers. So hope you understood this is one of the simple uh, mathematical model. By using that, uh, we can calculate the similarity and hence followed by rating prediction and recommendation of the movies or items to the customers. So up to here, if you have any queries, you can post your query in the chat box. I'm happy to answer for that. If not, we will go for further. It's very simple and interesting only. So let me check the chat box. So this is live streaming. So we are not able to find the queries. Yeah, fine. So now uh, I'll move to the small quiz. So it's very interesting and similar to uh, previous logic we are going to apply. So this is a movie data set and here uh, if we take Vishnu to movie one rating is missing here rating is missing here rating is missing. So you can check it once again. So uh, I have a, a simple movie synthetic movie data set and Vishnu to movie one rating is not available and Vishnu to movie three rating is not available. And Vishnu to 4 rating is not available. Now, our objective is to find the rating prediction followed by which movies we are going to recommend to Vishnu. So, by using the PCC, Pearson correlation coefficient measure. First, I will give the solution also here. Now, we have to calculate uh, some PCC that is called Pearson correlation coefficient. So, Vishnu to Divik, after calculation, the PCC value is 0 0.32, that means 32% similarity is there. And Vishnu to Ramesh, 73% similarity is there, 0 0.73. And we know how to calculate. I have given previous slides also the formula followed by calculation. So after calculation, directly I am giving the value of the PCC, that is called Pearson Correlation Coefficient Similarity measure. And Vishnu and Somu, Vishnu to Somu, the similarity is 0 0.21, 21%. So as you can see here, out of these three similarities, Vishnu to Daivik, 32, Vishnu to Ramesh, 73, Vishnu to Somu, 21%. Out of this, highest similarity is 0.73, that is similarity between Vishnu and Ramesh. 
so vishnu and ramesh because they have more similarity when compared to vishnu daivik and vishnu somu because of 73% now whatever rating given by ramesh to the movies 1 movie 3 movie 4 same thing we can consider for uh, vishnu to movie 1 vishnu to movie 3 vishnu to movie 4 rating so here ramesh given rating 5 for movie 1 same thing we can consider because both are similar users understood that both are having similar taste that is the bini here and ramesh and movie 3 the rating is 1 so that same thing we can consider here and ramesh to movie 4 uh, the rating is 1 that same thing we can consider here also so these are the movie three movies rating prediction by using pcc and we have to decide which movies are going to recommend so as we already discussed the threshold value is 4 that means minimum rating should be 4 then only we are going to recommend movies our recommendation system will recommend so when you take movie 1 we can recommend to vishnu why the rating is 5 obviously a uh, very good rating and movie 3 is not going to recommend why means the rating is very low very poor because of that reason movie 3 is not going to recommend to vishnu and movie 4 is recommend to vishnu because rating is 4 so our assumption is minimum rating should be 4 based on that we can recommend the products or movies but in our case here 4 is the rating obviously we can recommend that movie or products to the customer vision so this is one simple quiz and you can see the conclusion also movie 1 and movie 4 are going to recommend to vishnu because movie 1 rating prediction is 5 and movie 4 rating prediction is 4 but movie 3 is not going to recommend because of rating prediction is 1 so this is one of the simple uh, quiz for recommendation of movies to the customer even uh, we'll go for uh, uh, even what we can call it as a uh, healthcare application also uh, for pharmaceutical industry how to apply i'll come back later that so even how to apply this uh, uh, mission learning recommendation system for pharmaceutical industry so this is a base paper for recommendation system in healthcare domain so in recommendation for healthcare domain we can go for recommendation of the food so based on the this is what kind of food we have to take a breakfast lunch uh, dinner maybe snacks so that type of recommendation suppose if i type covid 19 or maybe fever i will get recommendation of the food items so these are the foods you have to take maybe timing also morning before 8:30 or maybe lunch before 1 o'clock dinner before 8 o'clock like that type of timings also it will display automatically with uh, what type of food we have to take maybe night we have to take one chapati or one pulka this type of thing recommendation that is called food recommendation and drug recommendation so based on the disease maybe fever or covid 19 or maybe malaria dengue etc you will get recommendation of the drugs we can call it as a uh, uh, tablets what type of medicines you have to use or what type of tablets you have to use based on your disease that is called drug recommendation and next one is uh, physical activity recommendation what is it mean so based on your uh, disease suppose if you are struggling with uh, suffering with fever then uh, whether we have to go morning work or not if so how many hours you have to work what type of exercises you can do so this type of uh, physical activity recommendation also will get by using recommendation system and healthcare professionals recommendation what is it mean so healthcare professionals means we can call it as a doctors whenever any person expert in fever and i am also struggling uh, suffering with fever then obviously i'll get recommendation of the doctor because uh, uh, he is expert in fever diagnosis i have i have a fever that's why i will get recommendation so based on that i can go and visit the doctor and i can uh, go for further diagnosis maybe any person having let us assume uh, cancer maybe uh, that uh, cancer specialist but we have so many doctors but we have to look for specialized doctors or specialist so obviously a person having uh, cancer then obviously you get recommendation of the doctors those who are expert in diagnosis of cancer in near to your area not like uh, some other areas suppose i am staying in bangalore i will get recommendation of the doctor near to my whitefield area so i won't get recommendation of the doctor from hyderabad like that so i feel get recommendation doctor from hyderabad also i won't go obviously it's a loss of uh, data energy for the recommendation system so this is the way healthcare professionals recommendation to the customers or your uh, patients so i will show one simple uh, uh, prescription or maybe uh, drugs recommendations to the customers so here drugs means uh, tablets so don't think some other way 
so drugs means tablets what type of tablets we have to recommend to the uh, customer based on the symptoms of the patient so the, in this uh, data set we can see uh, what are the attributes or what are the uh, columns age one column insulin these are the parameters and glucose level bmi body mass index bp blood pressure and thickness pack level so these are the attributes or these are the parameters we have considered for the patients now here we have sorry so we have four patients active patients uh, sorry uh, historical data this is a historical data of course these patients data available as well as description also available so patient 1 patient 2 patient 3 we have four patients data is available and we have an active patient that is called tom so he visited the doctor maybe he he, 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 he opened the product the data product there he entered age is 25 insulin level glucose level bmi bp and the fat level so based on the values he entered you will get recommendation of the prescription that is already available in one of the patient's prescription so we have four patients all the four patients this is historical data all the four patients having prescription so based on the similarity one of the prescription will recommend to tom because he's active patient and he is looking for drugs based on his symptoms whatever insulin level glucose level is having so but the question is how which uh, patient's prescription we are going to recommend to the active patient from that's the question so we have patient one patient two patient three patient four out of four which prescription i have to recommend to tom that means which type of medicines i have to recommend to tom that's the question so for that uh, we have to use similar measure what we have done previously that is called pcc pearson correlation coefficient so first we have to calculate uh, the similarity between tom to patient one so tom to patient one similarity is 86 percent so 0 0.86 that is the similarity between tom and patient one after that we have to calculate um, similarity between tom and patient two we have to calculate similarity between tom and patient two that is called 51 percent after that we have to calculate similarity between tom and patient three that is called 49 percent we know how to calculate by using the pearson correlation coefficient formula that we have discussed in the previous slides also and after that we have to calculate tom and patient four then the value is 0.04 out of these four measures you can observe that the similarity between tom and patient one is 0.86 that means 86 percent which is higher when compared to rest of the similarity measures so because of that reason so tom and patient one are similar as you can see age is both almost same tom and patient one and insulin level also almost close and the glucose level we have a little bit variation and bmi level also almost close and bp level also almost close and pack level also almost close so that means both are very very similar users because of that reason whatever prescription patient one having same thing will recommend to tom so that is the final conclusion you can see here the drugs prescribed for this patient that means patient one drugs means here tablets prescribed for the patient one same thing will recommend to tom now we can see we can save time we can see uh, we can save the consultation fees and no need to book appointment uh, of the doctor etc directly in the data product we can enter these symptoms immediately we will get prescription and you can buy these uh, products maybe uh, what we can call it as a uh, drugs or maybe tablets in the pharmacy so this is the way the recommendation system will recommend a drugs or maybe we can call it as a prescription to the patient so but here basically we are looking for similarity what we have done for previous movie or product recommendation application and uh, this is the patient one prescription and the same thing will recommend to tom also so patient one and tom uh, here you can see rx 650 mg taps and one tap po69 q6h and like that we have uh, symptoms sorry uh, prescription or tablets the patient one same thing is recommended to tom also so this is the way the prescription will recommend to the patient based on the historical data same thing based on the uh, base same thing applicable for recommendation of the professionals that means doctors same way recommendation of the food same way recommendation of the fitness or what type of exercise patient has to do be, depends on the disease so this type of recommendation will help to the customers as well as uh, even owners also the those who are having this data product because they will also get huge revenue because of this type of recommendation engines or systems
So even you can see doctor, suppose we have this type of products also, you can type your symptoms here. You can type, let us assume headache, cough, fever, etc. And based on that, we'll get recommendation of the doctor. So maybe near to your area. Suppose if you type headache or maybe a uh, dengue fever or thyroid fever, um, uh, maybe a uh, uh, cough or maybe COVID-19, etc. You will get recommendation of the doctor uh, in your area and you can consult and you can get the uh, treatment from the doctor. Oh, here. Here we have one more uh, classifier, so that is called basin classifier. So now we have discussed two things. One is how the recommendation system will work for product movie recommendation, and we applied simple measure that is called PCC, and how to it is applicable for healthcare industry, especially in pharmaceutical industry for recommendation of the prescription. Maybe same thing we can apply for doctors' recommendation, food recommendation, and uh, exercise recommendation, etc. Now, we, we know how to apply PCC for recommendation. We have one more classifier in machine learning that is called Navier Bayes classifier. How we are going to apply this Navier Bayes classifier for recommendation of the products or movies to the customer for in collaborative filtering approach only. Here also still we are looking for collaborative because uh, our scope is only collaborative filtering process. There we are looking for recommendation of the products or movies to the customer. So this is the base paper, a collaborative filtering approach based on the Navier Bayes classifier. So what is basically we are looking here, I will explain briefly. So this is the data set we have, let us assume data set we have. And we know already I have shown uh, so many examples for data set. So here uh, may be some products here. So maybe customer one, let us assume uh, uh, customer means we can assume a P1. P2, P3, and we have products. So let us assume our movies, movie one, movie two, movie three, movie four. So ratings are available. Now, basically here, what we have to do, we have to find, uh, for example, I have to find this one, this rating I have to find. So uh, person two to movie two rating I have to find. So here, basically what we have to do in base and classifier, we have to find probability of all the ratings. So here I'm assuming rating scale is one to five. I already specified same thing here also. The rating scale is one to five. Let me use some different color. So first we have to find what is base and classifier. So probability of Y cap equal to, that is the rating prediction, Y cap equal to org max, so uh, of course we have derivation for this it will take a lot of time for derivation or to max probability of y given x y is nothing but rating and x is nothing but the ratings of the user to the other movies this can be written as or max so i will tell you what is or max probability of the rating y into p of x given y so this is a rating prediction final value so y cap that is the rating so what we have to do here or max means maximum value of the probability is what we have calculated or the max means the maximum value corresponding to which rating so finally what we have to do we have to find the probability of rating one because i am taking given all the ratings given by the user to the other items so let us assume this probability is 0 1 once again we have to find all the ratings probability p of y equal to 1 rating 1 probability given x what is the meaning of x the ratings given by the uh, customer to the other products whatever products available or movies available you already gave that rating that rating we are going to consider for denominator that is the condition similarly probability of rating 2 given x future vector so that probability is 0 0.4 Similarly, probability of y equal to 3, that means rating 3 given x, so that um, probability is 0 point, let us assume 6. And the probability of y equal to 4, the rating is 4 given x, that probability is 0 0.2. In similar way, we can calculate finally probability of rating 5 prediction, probability 0 0.01. So by using Bayesian classifier, we have to collect all the ratings. This is called categorical classification. So we have to find probability for rating 1, probability for rating 2, probability for rating 3, and rating 4, rating 5, because we are taking rating scale is 1 to 5. Out of all the ratings, what is the maximum value? We have to look for maximum value. The maximum value is 6. This is called maximum probability. That is called max. What is org max? The maximum probability corresponding to which rating? 3. So therefore, 
final conclusion rating prediction is 3 so this is the meaning of org max maximum means maximum value org max means the maximum value which corresponding to the rating which corresponding to the x value so here i am taking rating is 3 so the maximum value is 0 0.6 which corresponding to the rating 3 therefore finally the rating prediction is nothing but 3 so this is the way we can calculate rating prediction by using nave based classifier there we are looking for probabilities of each rating after that we have to look for maximum rating and that rating we can consider for final rating prediction so this we can call it as a probabilistic classifier or we can call it as a nave based classifier i hope you understood so uh, i did not uh, derive the formulas because it will take a lot of time for this nave based classifier just i given brief idea we have to calculate each probability rating out of which we have to find maximum probability that rating we can consider for rating prediction to the customer to the item so here we have derivation also it will take time to explain so here i given rating scale is one to five all the ratings we have to find so this is a final formula so we have to find rating one two three four this y value one two five all the ratings we have to calculate and of, out of which we have to look for maximum probability that i have explained also so this is a formula that i have shown here you, you can see whatever i have explained all the ratings i have to calculate probability and uh, the maximum probability we have to consider that is the final rating prediction here you can see here i can this i already gave example here you can see clearly so org max what how many ratings we have one to five and all the probability values p of y equal to one rating p of y equal to two three four five and these probabilities calculated and given here 0 0.2 for rating 1, 0 for rating 2, 0 0.4 for rating 3, 0 0.1 for rating uh, 4, 0 0.3 for rating 5. So out of this, what is the maximum probability? So maximum probability is 0 0.4 and this 0 0.4 corresponding to which rating 3. So therefore, the rating prediction is nothing but 3. So this is a simple example. So we have to calculate probability for all the ratings 1 to 5 out of which we have to look for maximum rating and finally we have to look for the maximum rating corresponding to which rating that is called final rating prediction in our case 0 0.3 is the maximum probability and this 0 0.4 is corresponding to which rating 3 because 0 0.1 is the rating 1 0 is the rating 2 0 0.5 is rating 3 and 0 0.1 is rating 5 0 0.3 is rating 5 so out of this maximum is 4 which corresponding to rating 3 therefore final rating prediction is three. so of course we have already done by using pcc uh, measure for calculating the rating prediction even we can apply an away based classifier that is unsupervised learning uh, classifier by using that we have to find all the ratings probability and look for maximum this we can call it as a probabilistic classifier also so here also i have done the same thing so we have to find the rating prediction for item 4 so what we have done so item 4 rating 1 what is the probability 0 0.25 and item 4 rating 2 the probability is like this and item 4 rating 3 0 probability like that we have to calculate all the probabilities what is the maximum probability here 0 0.25 which corresponding to rating 1 hence the rating prediction is 1 so because the maximum probability corresponding to the rating prediction 1 therefore so we have decided the rating prediction for uh, user 1 to item 4 is 1 and obviously 1 is very uh, low rating therefore item 4 is not going to recommend to user 1 you can see here final conclusion item 4 is not going to recommend to user 1 so not only this probabilistic classifier we have one more thing that is called latent factorization method there basically we have to use yellow decomposition that we studied in lower classes so we have to divide the matrix into lower triangular matrix and unit upper triangular matrix by using that lo uh, logic we can find the rating prediction that is called latent factorization or we can call it as a lu factorization method in the rating prediction for movie recommendation or product recommendation so that i'm not explained but that uh, that type of methods also we can apply even cosine similarity we can calculate the cosine uh, similarity that means we have to find the angle between two vectors so based on the angle we can decide uh, the which users are very uh, close or correlated based on that we can find rating prediction followed by recommendation so that is called cosine similarity we have to like this so we have to make a, a special coordinate system this is one user this is one user so we have to find the similarity between these two users let us assume similarity is 30 degrees 30 percent and one more user if we take that similarity is 45 percent then 30 
percent 30 percent angle angle is 30 degrees which is very close to the 70 when compared to 45 therefore these two users u1 u2 are very close so like that we can calculate angle between two users by using cosine similarity based on that we can go for recommendation so like that we have so many measures so many classifiers so just i am giving uh, one uh, statistical measure that is called pcc one uh, supervised learning model that is called base and classified for recommendation of the movies or products to the customers so this i have explained already uh, pharmaceutical industry how it will help to the recommendation suppose if you are looking for further uh, enhancement of this recommendation system i will show some of the resources based on that you can explore more about this recommendation so you can go through recommendation system using python so maybe if you are looking for machine learning you can go through this textbook machine learning so that is called tom mitchell and uh, ex exclusively if you are looking for recommendation you can go through this textbook recommendation system with python so you can find recommendation system uh, domain knowledge and various type of uh, machine learning models with python code implementation it's open source only you can go through this textbook it's very very simple textbook and you can find a lot of information about this recommendation system with python and mathematics for machine learning because so far we have covered uh, pcc uh, classifier base in classifier etc there we found lot of mathematics so obviously mathematics is very very important for machine learning deep learning artificial intelligence suppose if you don't know mathematics then it is very difficult to understand the models and difficult to go for implementation so that's why mathematical intuitions are very very important so you can go through this textbook for basics mathematics for machine learning uh, so that you'll get a content level more and you can go for implementation of the new models to the given data set also. And still, if you are looking for further resources for this machine learning, you can go through this website that is called MLQt. So mlqt.com, there we can find a huge number of resources for machine learning, deep learning, etc. And that we can utilize for your uh, further studies. So that was my talk on recommendation system for a movie and products using machine learning. So if you have any queries, you type your queries in the chat box. I will read it and answer it. Uh, thank you so much, sir. Yeah. If you have any queries, you can send your queries to the mail ID. Here you can see jshomesecret.gmail.com. I'm happy to share my thoughts based on your query. Uh, OK. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, thank you so much for this very nice session. Yeah, welcome. Uh, and uh, thank you all the uh, active participation. Let me inform to all that this complete session uh, will be available on our business Rosgar YouTube channel. So if you want to watch it again or want to share it somebody, please do visit the uh, our uh, business Rosgar YouTube channel. Uh, thanks. Uh, and last but not the least, uh, thank you, uh, Dr. J. Somsakar, sir. Uh, yeah, welcome, for man. taking out time uh, for this session with our permission i would like to end today's session here thank you thank you thank you welcome